Good day everyone. Welcome back to our Science 10 class. I am June Emily Perez Apolida from Camarines Sur National High School, Naga City Division. Today, we are going to talk about biomolecules. This video lesson will focus on the most essential learning competency number 2. Recognize the major categories of biomolecules such as carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. At the end of this video lesson, the students are expected to differentiate biomolecules from each other in terms of element components and functions. Second, explain the importance of biomolecules in our body. Third, show a meal menu that contains carbohydrates, lipids. In your grade 9 lesson, you have learned about the bending characteristics of carbon that result in the formation of larger variety of compounds and relate it to biomolecules. Can you still remember it? What is your favorite meal of the day? Is it breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Are you feeling hungry right now? What food do you consume most? Do you prefer rice than pasta? Or do you prefer bread? How about your favorite ulam? Do you like chicken, fish, or pork? How about vegetables? Look at the image. Have you seen one of this? What information can we get from the nutrition fact label? What nutrients or biomolecules can be gained from the food product? Nutrition fact label is required by the Food and Drug Administration on most packaged and beverages. The nutrition fact label provides detailed information about a food nutrient's content, such as the amount of fat, sugar, sodium, and fiber it has. Let this copper which nutrients, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates are found in different foods. Tell whether the following foods belongs to carbohydrates, proteins, lipids. What's your answer? The answer is carbohydrates. How about the next picture? Is it carbohydrates, proteins, or lipids? Yes, you get it right. The answer is proteins. Next is the last picture. Is it carbohydrates, proteins, or lipids? Yes. It belongs to lipid. Hi! Today, we are going to perform an experiment of iodine test for the different types of sugar. Carbohydrates. And observe what are you will ready? If we add three drops of iodine in each food sample. Why does the color of food sample change? In this activity, Iodine was added to each food some test for the presence of starch. If iodine turns blue or black, it is possible to distinguish starch from glucose and other carbohydrates. Based on the result, pineapple and table sugar turns yellow and orange, while rice and crackers turns black and blue. Therefore, we can conclude that rice and starch is an example of polysaccharides. Let's try another activity. Which of the following carbohydrates can be classified as simple carbohydrates? The following are examples of simple carbohydrates. We have glucose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, and fructose. How well did you perform in the activity? I hope you are learning something new. The human body is composed of trillions of cells. We provide structure for the body 
take in nutrients from food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out specialized functions. Biomolecules is also called biological molecule. It is a molecule that is produced by cells and living organisms. Biomolecules have a wide array of sizes and structures and perform a vast array of functions. What are the types of biomolecules? What about their functions? Let us look into it one by one. Biomolecules has four types. These are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Carbohydrates is the major source of energy for the body, and thus, the main function is to supply energy to the cell with instant supply. All carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbohydrates is divided into two types, the simple and the complex. Under the simple, is what we call the monosaccharide and disaccharide, while for the complex, we have polysaccharides. Fructose is also known as fruit sugar. It is a simple to tonic simple sugar found in many plants. This is the structure of fructose. Glucose is the main type of sugar in blood and is the major source of energy for the body cell. The following are examples of glucose. Galactose is also known as milk sugar. It is a simple sugar that is normally transformed in the liver before being used as energy. This sugar is quite abundant in human diets and helps in a number of functions. Because galactose is a precursor to glucose production, it is an important energy providing nutrients. Disaccharides has also three types. These are sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Sucrose is also known as common sugar. It is extracted and refined from either sugar cane or sugar beet. These are examples of sucrose. Maltose is made of two glucose molecules bound together. Lactose can only be found in milk. If a person has lactose intolerance, their digestive system produces too little of an enzyme known as lactose. Lactose is needed to break down lactose. These are examples of lactose. The following are examples of polysaccharides. Starch contain fiber, calcium, iron, and B vitamins. They are good source of energy and the main source of a range of nutrients in our diet. Cellulose is one of the reasons why vegetables are good for your health. It's a natural dietary fiber that keeps your digestive tract in good working condition and may help prevent some intestinal disease. The storage form of glucose or animal starch role in maintaining blood glucose levels is especially important because glucose is virtually the only fuel used by brain except during prolonged starvation. The second type of biomolecules are proteins. Proteins are the primary building material of the body. They are strong yet flexible. Proteins are formally known as polypeptides. It is made up of elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Fats or lipids are the primary long-term energy storage molecules. They are very compact and lightweight, and they are an efficient way to store excess energy. It is made up of glycerol, which is attached to one of the fatty acids. Most of the energy from fats comes from the many carbon and this long fatty acid chain. Fat helps the body absorb vitamin A, vitamin D, and vitamin E. These vitamins are fat-soluble, which means that they can only be absorbed with the help of fats. Any fat that's not used by your body cells or turned into energy is converted into body fat. Let us all be guided by the image shown, the facts on fat. The last type of biomolecules is none other than the nucleic acid. You are already familiar with nucleic acid. 
Since it carried genetic information in the cell, these are composed of DNA and RNA. It contains carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Do all foods contain DNA, cook, or processed foods? Most of the DNA has been destroyed or degraded and the genes are fragmented. Whether fresh or cooked, when we eat food, we digest it to its constituents, parts, from which we make our own genes and proteins. Again, the types of biomolecules are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. Biomolecules are important as they control almost every aspect of organism. Carbohydrates provide the body with source of fuel and energy. Proteins provide structural support and defense against germs and infections. Lipids in the body are used as energy storage that are very important for they make up all animal cells. Lipid acid carries genetic information in the cell. For your performance test, you are asked to create a meal plan by following the big young boy and showing examples of food which contains carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. This will be included in your diet to maintain a healthy life. Breaks are presented to be your guide. Home question. Why do we need to eat healthy food? especially in times of COVID-19 pandemic. Consider all the discussions in biomolecules. This is the end of our discussion.